first was interested when I was just learning how to groom and Don Omboy's uh, Jester dog was on the cover of Groomer to Groomer. And that was the first time I saw anything like that. And I just thought it was amazing. I was like, I'll never be able to do this. She had poodles and let me, they were all blues and blacks, but she let me carve stuff in them and I started like spray painting some of them. And then my first time I did it, I competed in it was with my Cocker Spaniel in 2009 at Intergroom. I think I've done at least one contest every year since then. I ended up using my Cocker as a punk rocker Cocker and then used my friend's poodle. And I competed with him a couple times the first time I didn't place, but the second time I did a Mad Hatter at Intergroom. I said if I place with him as a Mad Hatter, I'll get my own poodle. And I got third place. So that's why I had this poodle. He gets excited if I don't have color on him and then start grooming him. He kind of wants to see the cut my customers more because he knows he looks different and just had something done that gets him more attention. I like the sculpting, like actually carving the hair and the color. Just always makes it pop or whatever, but just wanted something swirly and just a little bit of color. I'm like very particular about not getting it anywhere else, and then if it gets somewhere else, I'm like, I quit when it's like, ready to give up. I just try to find stuff that hasn't been done before and something that I am passionate about because I don't feel like doing this and I can get it. I can't draw, I can't paint, I can't do anything like that. I just carbon dog it. It's my medium. <laughs>